Hello, I'm going to tell you five problems that people tell me is wrong with EVs. These are people that don't actually own an EV. I've driven all my life, that's a long time, and if anyone should be stuck in the past, it's me. I've driven a Tesla for the last year, and I'll give you an honest appraisal of how I found it. Number one, the problem with EVs is that people tell me that you can refuel a car in a couple of minutes, and it takes 15 times longer to get a half decent charge in an EV. Well, I charge at home, I'm lucky, a lot of people can, and it's charging up while I'm eating, sleeping, drinking, and watching YouTube creators. And when I go away, I go and get a snack or something to eat, uh, visit the toilets, stretch my legs, and it's normally ready to go uh, when I finish doing those things. I am not stood around waiting for the car to charge up. Going past petrol stations is great, so I don't have to go in them anymore. Fantastic. Yes, I know not everyone can charge at home, but the fast chargers are very, very fast. And uh, lots of people have public chargers near where they live or where they work. It will get better as more and more chargers become available, as more people get EVs. Number two, the problem with EVs is you need to worry about planning a journey based on where you can charge. I do all my navigation on the touchscreen on the Tesla and I'll show you exactly how easy it is. So let's look at the destination. Let's try uh, Leeds. And it shows us that we need to stop at Exeter, Supercharger Birmingham. And then it'll take us on to Leeds. Very simple. How about Aberdeen? A few more stops. It's a lot further. And we're told where all the stops are. Nice and simple. Nothing could be easier. Number three. The problem with EVs is they can't do 400 miles on a charge. Well, if you want to do 400 miles without stopping, that's fine. I've done it in the past, but it certainly wasn't very enjoyable and I never planned to do it again. When I drove to Scotland, I was stopping long before the charger that I was meant to go to, simply just to get a snack. And I often found myself charging while I was there at a different charger. 400 miles is actually horrible. And uh, besides, you can now get cars doing 400 miles. I find 200 miles is more than enough. The reason I only bought the standard range, I didn't want the long range, uh, it's heavier, not quite as uh, economical. So I'm fine with the standard range Tesla. I think it's really good. Number four, the problem with EVs is that they are so expensive. Yes, they bloody well are. Uh, and too many SUVs looking more like tanks. I wish Tesla would make a more affordable EV. There's been rumors for a long time but whether or not they'll ever materialise, I don't know. Now, at the moment, you can get an MG made in China under 30,000, and uh, they're improving all the time. And there's a lot of Chinese brands on their way in the next few years that are going to be nicely priced. Number five, the problem with EVs is petrol is cheaper than electricity. <laughs> no, it's not. Charging at home is under a quarter of the price of gas. It used to be a tenth the price of charging at the pumps, but now it's still cheaper than going to the petrol pumps. I've done the figures and I've worked it all out. I've always recorded the cost of petrol servicing all my life, and the Tesla was expensive to purchase initially, but charging is so much less than gas. The first year running cost is much lower also. I've had no servicing costs. If you're a car magazine, and find the least efficient and ugliest EV uh, that's not in the top 10 of uh, EVs sold in the UK. It's also ridiculously expensive. And did I mention it was ugly? Then you go to the most expensive charger you can find in the UK. Then it might be cheaper to fill up with gas. But these are <laughs> extreme conditions. Most of these are very efficient, but some of the legacy automakers, it almost seems as if they want you to stay with gas. I could never go back. I'm completely sold on EVs. So what do you think? Please leave a comment below. Um, hope you can like if you did and subscribe and hit that notifications bell. So please don't forget to use your reusable mug wherever you go. 
Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.